This is the LG 27UD88 monitor and I believe it is the best 4K reasonably priced display for creators. Now this is not a new display. In fact, I bought the first one more than two years ago, right around the USB-C MacBook Pro switch. I wanted to have a decent 4K panel that can also charge my MacBook Pro. Ever since I acquired it, I got two more the same model for the office and I also have friends of mine who are designers that share my opinion and say that for this price, the LG 27 UD88 is quite a capable and stylish monitor. And in this video, I'll share with you my extensive experience with the LG monitor and tell you what I like about it, as well as share my expectations or hopes for the upcoming upgrades of the product. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you never miss my brand new videos talking about cool gear and useful software. At the end of this video, I'll share my question of the day to you and go over your responses in my next This Is E episode. So the LG 27UD88-W is a 27-inch 4K UHD IPS monitor with a resolution of 3840 by 2160. As you can see, this is not a wide or ultra-wide panel. This LG monitor comes in a standard 16 by 9 aspect ratio wrapped in a very stylish and thin frame. Given the fact that this is not a new model, the frame is still on par with the latest displays out there and placed next to another display of the same model, the thin bezels help provide a good dual display experience. The stand is standard for the LG brand, coming with this arc line stand structure and allows easy attachment and removal of the panel. On the back behind the stand, the monitor comes VESA mount equipped and as with my choice of setup looks even better floating on a monitor desk arm. Even if you keep it on a stand, you have the option to swivel it, raise it up and down, and even rotate it to a vertical position. It doesn't come with built-in speakers, but the I.O. on the back is plenty useful. Aside from the funky stickers, you can see it has two HDMI 2.0 ports, two USB 3.0 quick charge ports, DisplayPort version 1.2, and the MVP for all MacBook Pro users USB-C that can run 4K at 60Hz picture, transmit data and charge your MacBook at 60 watts. All with one tiny cable. By the way, in the box it comes with a USB-C cable, so no need to worry about it. One thing that concerned me at first was the fact that I use a 15-inch MacBook Pro which uses 85 watts power brick. I am telling you, don't worry about it, the LG monitor easily manages to top up the battery of your computer unless you're absolutely bottlenecking your machine for extensive periods of time. Even though I do heavy 4K edits, I had never had such an occasion. Aside from the headphone jack which I didn't mention, the monitor has a third USB port, but it is used to software upgraded only. This LG monitor has high clarity and details in its Ultra HD resolution and looks very sharp even up close. With over 99% coverage of the sRGB spectrum, this LG panel is a great solution for professional photographers, graphic designers, content creators like me or anyone looking for highly accurate display at an affordable price. The monitor supports FreeSync and comes with gaming presets. Sure, its 60Hz refresh rate is not what satisfies the professional gamers out there, but for the occasional fun havers like me, it does the job perfectly. According to LG's official monitor page, it also has a feature called Black Stabilizer that supposedly helps you keep visibility even in dark scenes. So this monitor retails for $650, but you can occasionally find good Amazon discounts like the one I will place in the description and snatch this baby for about $500. I am telling you, after more than two years of non-stop work-related use, I find absolutely no reason to upgrade to another 4K display. Okay, maybe i would try on an ultra-wide monitor at some point because of my video editing timelines, but even if I don't, I'm pretty happy with what LG provides. If I was to ask for an upgrade, it will be for some easy side access USBs since I use the monitor as a hub and it's kind of annoying to reach out to the back. Also, I'm not a huge fan of the white stand and the back panel. 
so a complete matte black or maybe darker plastics will better fit my taste. If you want to check out an even more interesting monitor than this, make sure to head over to my massive LG 43 inch monitor review, which is quite old now, but still very relevant. So the question of the day to you is, if you had to prioritize between pixel density, high refresh rate, or accurate colors, which would you go for? Let me know in the comment section below and I'll discuss it or any other questions you might have in the next This Is E episode. As always, it's been an absolute pleasure. This is E, over and out. <laughs>